Hello everyone, this is Animation4 and welcome to a quick video on how to create a custom mod pack using the Curse Launcher. Uh, so you can, first you're going to have to get yourself the Curse Launcher and you can do that by just going to beta.cursevoice.com Link for this to be in the description. And you just can click download now right here and you're going to get an installer and you're going to run that and it's just telling me that I already have it installed. And you're going to get the curse launcher like this. And the first time you open it up, you're going to start up. And you're going to have to log in. You're going to have to register if you don't have an account already. And I've, I've had this account forever. I haven't gotten any spam emails or anything. So you're totally fine. Um, yeah, so you just log in like this. Let me just log in real quick. And there you go. You're all logged on. You can go up here. You can change your profile picture. There's a few Minecraft ones somewhere down here. Right around here, yeah. Right at the end of it. And then you just go to this tab up here that says Minecraft. So, here is where you can actually have multiple mod packs. Kind of like... Kind of like the FTP launcher, kind of, but do it yourself. Um, so you can browse all mod packs. This shows you all mod packs are on the Curse Launcher, and there are a ton of them. Uh, yeah. Um, so you see there's FTP Infinity, there's Direwolf 20, there's Unstable, Agrarian Skies 2, Regrowth, all those, all those good stuff, all the good stuff. Uh, you can just browse the FTP mod packs, and this is basically the FTP launcher itself. Um, and you can also do this, you can install a mod pack. So if you go to install a mod pack and click custom profile, you can create your own custom profile. So you name it whatever you want. Um, my mod pack. And you can choose a version. Um, 1.710 is a good version to go with because it has all the 1.7 mods. There aren't many mods out for 1.8 yet. But if you want to do 1.8, you'd have to do the original 1.8 because that's the only one with the mod loader. Or you can go back to, it looks like as far as 1.0, which doesn't have mod loaders back then. Uh, so we're going to go with a 1.710 mod pack. It's going to show up right here. So if you click play, it will actually launch. And the way this actually launches the game is through the original Minecraft launcher. So you click play and this popped up. It popped up on my other monitor so you can see it. Uh, this just pops up and you just you'd log into here like you would the regular minecraft launcher and this is all done through the minecraft launcher which makes it really simple uh so here's the profile down here it selects it for you it's the only one here all you have to do is click play and make sure you're logged on so this doesn't do any of the authentication this doesn't take in your minecraft password or anything that's all done through the regular minecraft launcher and you can see if it shows up on my other monitor the game starts launching and you have a functional mod pack with a full three mods installed, the basic ones. So if you don't click the play button, if you just click the regular, like play, it lights up. If you just click the inside the square, but not the play button, you go into the mod pack itself. And this is where you actually make your mod pack. So let's say we're, we're a big fan of Tinkers. So we're going to go... Uh, we're going to go in here, we're going to search Tinker's Console. Here's Tinker's Console. You just click install. That's it. Done. Tinker's Console. It also does any mods it requires. So if there's a mod that has libraries or anything like that, it does that automatically. So you can see Tinker's Console requires Mantle. Uh, let's also do a bit of thermal expansion. See, that, that's all thermal foundation. Let's also do thermal dynamics. Um, let's do not enough items. And maybe Whaler. Nice, simple mod pack. You can see everything, everything that needed to be installed. You have COFH core, it's already there. That's all done. And then just get more content up here and still bring it to this list. So if you run this now, and it's still going to show up in my first monitor, it's going to run. And the cool thing about this is, if there's ever any updates to these mods, all that happens is a little icon appears right here that you just have to click it just updates the mod i can actually maybe show you an example of that let me go to a different yeah one of these you just click it it updates so here you go here's your mod pack you can create a new world creative and it's going to generate And you can see we have NEI and 
all tinkers. And if you go a little bit further, thermal foundation, oh, thermal, thermal dynamics. And there is your basic mod pack. Now, what if you don't want to do that? What if you want something that's not in here? Um, I think maybe is big reactors in here. Yeah, see, see, big reactors isn't in here. Uh, so big reactors you have to actually get from the big reactors website. So the way you do that is let's go here. Shit, Minecraft big reactors. Always look for either its page, or if you can't find its page, look for its page on the Minecraft forum. Usually for big mods, they have their own page. So you see the requirements up here. Let's see, downloads. Um, and you're gonna get a dot jar or a dot zip. Just save it wherever you want. I'm just gonna save it to the desktop. You can see what's going on. And let me pull it over here. Oh, sorry. There we go. This is the big reactors thing. So where do you put this? This is where it gets really easy. Uh, click this little thing right here and just click open folder. Here's your mod pack. Here's the configs. Here are the mods. Drag and drop. There it is. Oh, it's not there. Fresh. Oh, it's not showing up for some reason. I launch. Usually it shows up in there. I don't know why it's not. But yeah. That's how you would add a mod pack. That's how you'd add a mod that is not already in the curse launcher. If you launch this, should all function. Yeah, usually they show up in there. Go in here. Let's see if we have big reactors. Yep, right there. Nice and simple. So now, let's do more stuff. Let's go here. Let's add hardcore questing mode. So you can see that got dropped right into the mod folder. You can actually watch it update. And play again. So we should now have HQM. Still, I don't know why I'm checking. You, you know it's going to be there, right? Uh, but we actually probably should launch the first time to make sure the configs get set up. So we launch the game. And it... I, oh, that's because that's I closed it. That's fine. So if you go into config now, you can now see the HQM config folder. The other quest files, don't worry about those. The edit mode right here. It is. Just turn, you can just turn on use editor. And there it is. You should now be able to go in and edit some quests. Waiting. Let me just do this real quick. Yeah, so let's check it out. Uh, quest book. There we go, we're in edit mode. We in there. So you can know your quests now. And yeah, that's pretty much the basics of creating a your own mod pack with the curse launcher uh there are a few other cool things that you might want to do if you want to create your own custom map and have it whenever you launch the game like if you look here um if you, if you click create new world you have all these options um if you want to not not generate a new world but instead pull from a map there's a mod pack called lockdown and what that does is inside this folder um inside the config is going to be a way to describe it but inside this folder you basically put a a world and it'll always create new worlds from that so if you want to have your own map there and that mods that maps called uh, that mod is called lockdown i think it's on here it might not be actually Yeah, I don't think it is, but you can find it pretty easily if you just look up that. So yeah, that is how you do that. You can also do custom resource packs and uh, custom maps, which would go with the mod pack. Um, obviously, if you, if you use Lockdown, these would 
work because oh, they would they'd exist but you would be able to generate them so yeah that's how that all works you can also disable mods right here and that's it it's really that simple so yeah that's gonna be it if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below and thanks for watching bye bye